Merry Christmas, everybody. Are we getting festive? Happy Wednesday. <laughs> I was just chatting with you guys over there. You guys are all excited about hearing my Christmas music. Let's take a moment. Can you hear it? So beautiful. I was telling my team last week that I've been playing Christmas music down here in my office and upstairs in my living room. So we still don't have any snow, knock on wood. I wish we just could get snow on Christmas and then it would go away. <laughs> Personally, that's how I feel. But um, I'm just replenishing all my adhesives right now. I got a new thing of glue dots. I got a new liquid glue. We're making two projects today. Did you guys see them? Aren't they exciting? Oh my gosh, we're going to be making cute Really cute stocking stuffers for you guys today, you know, because Christmas is in like how many days? Oh, it's so close. I am so ready. I'm not ready for my tree to come down. So Richard knows that we keep our tree up for a while after. I think the latest I've ever had it up was like March. Early March. All right, let me turn on my comments. Let's do an early bird glitter spinner. Let me open them up my dimensionals here. I got a couple things I want to give you. I'm going to do one for the early bird and one for the just the glitter spinner at the end of the hour, all right? Hopefully, we can just lickety split through all these cute projects. And, man, I got some happy mail, finally, right? Oh, my gosh. And then I forget, because when I got some happy mail, I got it for my, um, my team meeting on Thursday, which was like... I guess about a week or so ago. And then, um, but I don't think I shared it with you guys. So I got some extra. Not only that I just got, but that I've had probably for about a week and a half. That I forgot that I was going to share it with you guys. Alright, so look at all my new adhesive. Let me go ahead and put this in picture in picture. Hi everybody! Yes, thank you for sharing the live today with all your crappy friends. Thank you so much. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, all that fun stuff so you guys don't miss out. I know all you guys that are here faithfully every Wednesday. I'm so appreciative of you guys hanging out with me when you guys could definitely be doing something else. You know what I mean? All right. Oh, uh, what is that? Somebody said tree. Oh, did you see my tree last week? Isn't it beautiful? Oh, I love it. I love, love, love my tree. I have one more item to buy and then need to get time to go shopping at St. George. Ooh, that must be my friend Rita. She lives in like she lives near St. George. But um that's exciting. All right, let me go ahead and put this in picture in picture and we will do an early bird glitter spinner. So look at all my adhesive I just got. And I just opened up a new liquid glue too. So I am ready for today's projects. Right? Cuz we're going to be probably using well not so much the liquid, or not so much the glue dots, but we'll be ready. All right, so let me give you guys these here first. We got the Faceted Gems Trio Pack. Woo. All right, let me go ahead and get my, I'm afraid to take my iPad off of here. Did I plug in my mic yet? No, I don't think I did. Hold on. Let me plug in my mic. Might be a little clunking. There. All right, let's do the glitter spinner. Let me get my iPad off of here. All right. Now we are going to spin the comments. Remember, this is all you have to do is just leave a comment during the live stream and you get entered into the drawing. Super easy. All right. So let's go ahead and spin it. Come on. I just put batteries in this thing. I don't know. It's not been very long ago. I don't dare push all the other buttons. It's not working. Well, maybe we won't have a spinner today. We'll have a spinner. I'll just spin it, all right? So, everybody, give me a drum roll. <laughs> if I do it, I'll start sneezing. All right, so we're doing the drum roll. Drum roll, drum roll. And we're going to stop right here. Dawn! Dawn, you get these. What are they? The gems, the Faceted Gems Trio Pack. And Dawn, I already have your address, so that's awesome. I'll get these sent out to you tomorrow, all right? 
or maybe even tonight I'll drop them off at the post office. All right, let me just write your name on this post-it note. Trio pack. Just abbreviating. Can you guys hear my Christmas music now? I love it. There's one that's my favorite on YouTube that I put on. It's so nice. Oh, it just plays like for eight hours straight, and then I just have to hit replay, you know? It's so awesome. All right, now let me put this back on my stand here without, you know what. There. Ta-da, I did it. All right. Yay, congratulations, Dawn. I would give you applause. See, it's not working. Hmm. I, I have extra batteries. I just gonna need, I need a tiny Phillips thing to get it out. And that little thing takes like three or four batteries. So it's not like, you know, one battery. All right, but we're applauding for you, Dawn. Yay! <laughs> All right, what else could we be doing? What else would we be doing, right? Well, you could be making cookies or wrapping presents or, you know, out shopping. All right, so let me um, share with you guys last week's glitter giveaway winner. I have not even contacted her, but I know who she is. So that's a good thing. And I've already got her address. So let me go ahead and... Sp I can't spin it even. All right, so let me just show you who the winner was from last week's glitter giveaway. Remember, it was the Snowflake Sky 3D embossing folder. Okay, so the winner goes to Rebecca. Yay, Rebecca. And she's a glitter queen. So congratulations, Rebecca. I will get that sent out to you tomorrow morning as well. All right. And if I end up going out tonight, I'll get it dropped off for tomorrow morning. All right. Congratulations. Congratulations. Man, I really miss my spinner. This is like the pit. I need a backup. I need a backup plan. Plan B, right? All right, let's put this back over here. There we go. All right, so this is this week's glitter giveaway. This is the warmest heart and the warmest heart die. So you're going to get the bundle in next week's glitter giveaway. So all you have to do is just go to my website right here, dawnstampingthoughts.net, which is right down below. Go to my website starting tomorrow morning. Leave a comment on this blog post where we're going to be making the two chocolate holders. And then um, your name might be drawn for next week's glitter giveaway. Or, yeah, you might. Your name might be drawn and we'll announce it next week in the glitter pit. All right? So, typically I do notify you when you win and when your name is drawn. So, if I don't have your address, you can email me back and then I can get it. But today I ran out of time and I already knew Rebecca's address. So I just didn't notify you, Rebecca. I'm sorry. But you're getting it. All right. Because I know she tunes in sometimes on my lives. All right. So anything going on with you guys besides Christmas? Christmas is in the air everywhere, right? Ah, oh, thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Kathy. Nice bundle. Hi, Nicole. Uh, Nicole, have you ever been to like a snowy place for Christmas? Because I know you live in California, but have you ever been like where snow has been? I'm just curious. We, I was talking to somebody just recently, like it would be weird if we didn't have snow on Christmas, but then after that, I'm good. But we haven't had really a big snowfall yet, so knock on wood, I don't want it to be. All right, so everybody's congratulating you, Rebecca. I see that. All right, let's go over some weekly updates first, and then we'll jump into the stamping. There's a, quite a few things going on. I want to remind you guys of a few things, too. I'm also offering my gift certificates. Remember, you can buy in any domination of gift certificates. So whatever you want to purchase for your husband, your wife, whatever, your fellow stamper, any domination, just let me know. We can do a PayPal. You can send me a personal check, and then I can mail the gift certificate with the Christmas card to the person or I can mail it to you and then you can give it to them on Christmas or whenever you celebrate your Christmas holiday. And then also, um, remember, any denomination. So it can be 20, it can be 100. 
it's just whatever and there's no extra surcharge it's just whatever you want the gift certificate to be that's the charge okay and then they can spend it up to a year after yay so then this is something that they can get what they want also stamp and storage this is their little mini catalog that they send us that we once we start purchasing things from them these are the organizing units and ink pad holders punch holders you know you name it cardstock holders they are offering free shipping today. Today is the last day for the free shipping. And I also have an affiliate code, which is over on my website. If you scroll down on the right-hand side, there's a link there. And it looks like this picture right here. If you click on that, you can go shopping. Okay, and it's free shipping. I don't think there's a limited amount on your free shipping. We also have free shipping going live tomorrow on December 14th. Free shipping on orders of $75 or more. Plus, let me tell you, there's an added bonus. <laughs> Double FSM tokens! Woohoo! So, during free shipping, you can also collect double FSM tokens. Remember, this is for every $50 you spend in increments, not accumulative. So, it's for every order that reaches at least $50, and it's for every order that is of every increment of $50. So if you spend $100, you get four tokens, and then you also get the free shipping on top of that $100 order. And then when your order reaches $150, you will get six tokens instead of three. So this is a one-day thing, double FSM tokens. You can collect those and also take advantage of the free shipping, which is happening tomorrow. So make sure you're looking at everything and checking it twice. You know, who's been naughty and nice? <laughs> All stampers have been very nice, I must say. So free shipping on orders of $75 or more, plus double FSM tokens. Your order for double FSM tokens has to at least be the $50. So for $50 order, you'll get two tokens, but you won't get the free shipping until you bump it up to $75. Okay, and I have a link in the newsletter and I'll try to, do I have it on my blog? I don't think I have it ready. I'll try to post it on my blog post tomorrow where you can read everything about my FSM club. My FSM club is when you collect tokens for every $50. Once you reach 10 tokens, you get to cash those in and there's nothing to send back. I keep track of everything on my side. Now, there has been times when I've had miscalculations on the tokens, but, you know, I'm very easy to work with. Just let me know and we'll kind of work it out. But anyway, so you get one token for every $50. And then once you collect 10 tokens, you can cash them in for one item, which has got to be a stamp set or a die collection or a bundle. And one of those items, whatever one you want to pick, has to be at least $50 or less. So it can be a stamp set, a die, or a bundle of $50 value. Do not go over that value amount, please. Also, this is not like a shopping spree. I kind of updated my um, my um, FSM Club page because I didn't want it to be, because it's very confusing, especially right now, especially right now with everything on back order, sold out, retiring. It's very hard to um, keep going back and forth with my customers when they want something. If it's just one item, like a stamp set, die, or a bundle, that's pretty easy to maneuver. If you're shopping, like you want a Wink Estella, you want this embossing folder, you want these two sets of dies, it's not a shopping spree. It's just one of those three items that you get to pick for free from me of $50 value or less, all right? So please keep that in mind. And try not to go over that because I will not, I, I'm not placing orders for over $50 items. And I understand that you want to, so just hear me out here. I understand that sometimes the bundle is like $52.75, but now you got to look at it from my point of view. When I place that order, it's raising the shipping and the tax. And then I got to collect the money from you, which I usually use PayPal. And then there's fees on that. So let's say, let's just say, you picked a bundle for $275. The shipping and the tax is going to go up because it's a little bit pricier of an item than, say, $38. Then I got to collect the $2.75 plus the overage for the shipping on your item. So then I got to PayPal you. And then PayPal, you know, takes out fees and stuff. So I'm out 
with the fees and stuff. So it's just so much easier if we can just keep it down to one single item, a stamp set or a die or a bundle. And that's really the way I have done it for the last 17 years. It's never been different than that. Okay. And the $50 was from Celebration because Celebration is when I started my FSM club back 17 years ago or maybe even 16 years ago. But um, I started it during Celebration and I thought I would just pig piggyback on that. So when you spend $50, you'll get a token and then during Celebration you get to pick a free item too. All right. So just keep this in mind. This is starting tomorrow. Free shipping on $75 orders and double FSM tokens for $50. The brand new paper pumpkin has been launched. It is beautiful. It is using the, this, this paper pumpkin kit coordinates with the perennial lavender suite of products. There is also an add-on stamp set for $12. Let me show you this up close. This is the love of spring. And if you click on the flyer in my newsletter, it's going to show you a picture of the next three kits that are going to be available. So they're all like the spring um, theme of the paper pumpkin kits. So we have January, the lovely lavender. The February is sweet springtime. And then March is memorable meadow. And this stamp set has one stamp for each of the kits that you can add on right now that you can add on as a bonus for the paper pumpkin, all right? So let me show you this again. This is the add-on. Remember, you can only add the add-on item if you are a paper pumpkin subscriber, okay? So do that if you want that. And then also the clearance rack is still happening. There's still a lot of stuff over there if you wanna check it out. It's up to 60% savings over there. And then I have heard from so many of you guys. Thank you for letting me know. I always send um, myself a copy of the newest mini catalogs. And this time it's the January through April and the Celebration Mini. And they will be coming together. They're wrapped up. And these are what they look like. But they are going out as we speak. So they could be showing up in your mailbox. It could actually be out there right now. And everybody is so excited about it. I'm so excited. I'm just so happy to start hearing you guys are receiving them. So um, remember, if you are one of my normal customers and you don't get this by the end of December, just reach out to me. Shoot me an email. There's a lot of things that happen between stamping up, mailing them, and your mailbox. I mean, it could have been where I oversighted, where I didn't get you on the list. Or somebody took it, stole it, whatever, got sticky fingers. But just let me know and I can resend them out. It's no problem. But I need to know because I don't know. I'm not a mind reader and I don't have tracking on the catalogs, okay? So if you don't get them by the end of December, this is for my customers, my normal customers. You know who you are. <laughs> if you don't get them by the end of December, just let me know, okay? And I can send them out. I got a bunch extra. Also, if you're a new customer, you will be getting them in the mail. I'm just getting ready to post them out right now, this week. And then also, if you if you want a demonstrator, and I can be your demonstrator, just let me know and I can send you the catalogs as well, okay? So it is a two-page printable today for the projects we're making, and they are adorable. So I do have a couple links on this printable here for this project because this is... Well, both projects are using the tags that we made a couple weeks ago. Remember the, the Santa and the Mrs. Claus and the elf? And then we made a stocking and a gingerbread. I got a bunch of extra here. Let me show you here because I've been making them nonstop, I feel like. Not only for tags, but for, um, you know, for my presents and stuff, but for these cute little gifts. Because, surprise... Richard comes down to my office last night. We were registering for um, the Mexico trip with Stampin' Up. That's going to be in March of this next year. So he came down. We were doing that. And I was showing him this gift. And he said, do you think you could make these for Dave, Dave, Bob, Tom, Sean, Jared? <laughs> he like named off nine guys that he works with. And I'm like, sure. I said, you do realize that this is a double chocolate holder. Oh, you know what? I need to go get some more chocolate. This is a double 
chocolate candy bar holder. These are so amazing for stocking stuffers, you guys. And I had posted this video. Actually, it was a Facebook Live back in 2018. And the only way you guys could see it is if you were already following me on Facebook for the Glitter Pit Live. Now we're on YouTube. But this was also on my blog. So I've never posted this video on YouTube. So this is the first time you guys are seeing it probably on YouTube. But this is a double candy bar holder. And it does hold the regular size candy bars, which I need to go get a couple candy bars. So, but I just put these two Ghirardelli chocolate bars in there. These are from the Dollar Tree. They're so awesome. So after I went to the gym yesterday, I stopped at the Dollar Tree and got like 20 candy bars just for my husband's candy bar wrapper things I'm going to be making him this week. So, and I said, you know, they're not going to be like this one with the cute little, because this is very time consuming. Not that they're not adorable, but I'm not up to making like, you know, three times nine or 10. I'm not up to it. Plus I've already got these ones made. So I can just use these. And he's like, yeah, whatever. He said, his thought was he's going to give them to the guys at work and then he can, they can take them home and then the guy can have one and then his wife or girlfriend or whatever, they can have the other ones. So I thought that was a really cute idea. So even though it kind of threw me for a loop, I was like, okay, I could do that. So we're going to be making this one second, all right? But first we're going to make this one. This one is also a candy bar holder, but it holds a gift card. And I'm making this one for my father-in-law. So you can see the gift card right there. Isn't it cute? So it also holds a candy bar under here. And I did do a peekaboo window. You do not have to make a peekaboo window if you don't want to. But it holds a full-size candy bar. So I bought, I asked Richard, I said, well, what kind of candy bars do you want me to get? Is there a certain kind? And he said, no, just get it, whatever. And I'm like, all right. So um, I got some cookies and cream. I got some Hershey, just chocolate bars. I got some Hershey chocolate bars with almond. I got some Mr. Good Bar. And I got some Nestle Crunch. So we're going to make this one first. And I did make another set using the brand new Hot Air Balloon Bundle, which is in the new mini catalog. And I will show you those in a bit, all right? So let's go ahead and first make... Our first little chalk, and the title of today's video is kind of weird because I was like, I may, I'm actually making two chocolate holders, but one is a gift card holder. So I don't know how you would word that. So anyway, so back to my printable, I have all the measurements and the supplies used for both of the projects, and it's a two page printout. This video will take you to how we made these cute little characters so if you want to re-watch that and make them feel free and then this video is the replay so if you forget where we made these at you will be able to click that and it will take you to my um my video on youtube all right so and of course the replay will be available no matter what yay i'm so excited all right so we're going to start with the gift card holder first let me get all my supplies here. So let me show you this one again. So now, like I said, I mentioned that you don't have to cut the window out. And I use the deckled rectangle dies for the window. And it's not even quite centered, but you can at least see that there's a chocolate candy bar in there. That's the whole idea. And then the gift card holder is up here. You don't even have to do that either if you don't want to. All right. So it's very um, customizable, I guess you could say. And then I just added the cute little cutie patooties on the front and then I use that what's the stamp set I used I used the um what is the stamp set <laughs> let me see what I used on the front here the what was the stamp set I used the sending cheer no sending cheer was for the characters and the set that is the light the Mary and bright right Mary and bright stamp set yes and then the designer paper is the Mary bold and bright a lot of the stuff is retired, but you guys know this is a really tough time for the switch from the old to the new and the carrying over and the retired and a lot of stuff is selling out, but 
um, a lot of you do have this stuff, so that's why I'm going with it. And even if you don't make it exactly like mine, you can still use whatever you have. You know what I mean? So, just go with it, right? Let me scroll down here. Sending cheer, yes. Thank you, Rita. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and make this gift card holder, candy bar holder box first. Let me give you all the measurements. You're going to need your real red, that's what I'm using, real red cardstock. This is cut at six and a half by eight and a quarter. We're going to score this and cut it. And then you're going to need your one piece cut at three by six and a half. We're also going to score that. And then a piece of real red cut at one by six and a half. Okay, so this is all for your little box. And then three pieces of the Mary Bold and Bright. This is the double-sided. You can use whatever side you want. But I wanted to make it an ensemble so it matchy, matchy, you know. Because even though you really can't see the paper underneath the characters, but it is the same set of paper. You know what I mean? So I always think that looks so much cuter. All right, so three pieces of the designer paper cut at two and a quarter by six and a quarter and you'll need three of those and then also if you are making the window the cutout the peekaboo window the window sheet is cut at two and a quarter by three and a half okay now i would highly recommend you guys use your simply scored but i'm so used to using my paper trimmer i'm just going to use that today okay i really was going to get my simply score over here but i do not have any room on my desk all right, as you can tell, right? All right, let's score the little piece first. All right, so this is your, um, this is going to be the flap of the, the gift card holder part of the flap of the box. All right, so this is cut at three by six and a half. And we're going to score this at, I'm looking at my printable, at a half inch on the three inch side. So on the three inch side across the top, we're gonna to score this at a half inch. And please, please, please make sure you're scoring and not cutting. I have made like three of these today and I cut almost every single one of them when I was making them and I start over. All right, so now this is the base of the cookie or the candy bar holder part. This is your six and a half by six and a half. Yeah, six and a half by eight and a quarter. So let's start on the eight and a quarter inside. Eight and a quarter, you're gonna score it at three eighths. And the three eighths is the eighth mark past the quarter. And then you're gonna score it at seven eighths. Seven and three eighths. and seven and seven eighths okay then you're going to turn it on the six and a half inch side and you're going to this is at the top six and a half inch side across the top we're going to score this at two and a half three five and a half and six Okay, those are our pieces that we had to score. All right, now I do have one already pre-done just because I die cut it beforehand, but let me show you how you're going to cut this. Let me get my paper snips here. All right, so you're going to, first of all, fold and score all your, fold and score all the score lines. I'm just doing that with my bone folder. Okay, so that's your candy bar holder. And then this is your flap. So we're just going to fold and score that half inch. All right. Let me get my template out here so I can make sure I do this correctly here. Don't want to mess it up. All right. All right, so this edge right here that does not have a score line, we're not going to do anything with this end right here. We're just going to cut these two ends. Let's start there. 
This end with no score lines, we're not gonna, we're gonna cut these long rectangles off of both of the sides. So turn it over. We're just gonna remove these tabs up to that first score line. Gonna cut that off. Let's just work on one side. Then you're gonna cut the tab on the score line. Then you're gonna cut this score line and this score line. And then we're going to remove this tab on this end over here. And then on these two tabs right here, let me show you when it's folded flat. So these two tabs right here, you're gonna cut in half. So I would just cut on those score lines remove that outside tab okay so this is what that side should look like now we're going to repeat that on this side so we're going to remove this whole section remember this is the edge that's just a flat edge going to remove that whole section right up to that first score line and then you're going to cut your score lines up to there and then two more this one and this one and then you're going to remove that first tab over here then cut this one half of it and fold these over and you're going to remove this tab half of it okay now i also angle cut a little bit this also helps if you don't cut it exactly straight on the score line so i'm just going to angle cut these a little bit and then also a little tiny bit on the, the box part where it tucks in. It always helps to angle cut that just a smidge. Because if it doesn't quite tuck on the box part, it's a little bit too long. So just angle cut it a little bit. And I'm angle cutting the tabs again on this side. Okay. Okay, so let's let me get my basket so I can throw all this in the garbage. Okay. So this is what your treat holder should look like now. Okay? All right, now we're going to go ahead and put our designer paper. Remember, we got three pieces. So one piece, this is the way the box, let me put my tear and tape on here. Where's my new tear and tape? I got some new tear and tape. Nothing like new. All right. So your tear and tape is going to go on this first score line right there. So I'm going to put it along this edge. Just like that. Okay. And then we're going to flip it over flip it over to the back side and this is where we're going to cut our window out of this piece but before we do the die cutting we want to put our designer paper on and i'm just going to use liquid glue so put your designer paper on the back side of your um chocolate window that's going to be open on the back side or it's actually going to be the inside of your box holder, treat holder. Make sure that's lined up good. Move it up. I do have one already done, but I want to keep this one so I can do it later for Richard. Hold on. I got to move it up a little bit more. Hold on. Let me put some more glue on. <laughs> I should have folded it so I could see the edge of my score lines here like this. Because with all the red, I can't really see the score lines very good. All right. There we go. That's much better. All right. So then this is the inside of our box, right? All right. So now before you put the box together, you're going to have to fold one of your edges over to run this through the die cut machine. And let me show you here. This is the die that I used to cut my window. So it is the second to the smallest in the size for the decal rectangle dies if you go any bigger trust me i done it a little bit bigger and what happens is this tab that folds over you can see it through the window 
And that's also another reason why we flip the box over. So when the candy bar is in there, even if you do cut a bigger window, you won't see the flap. Because if you do it this way, see how the flap is on the front here? And you can't hide it with the candy bar. Whereas if you flip it over, the can does that make sense, you guys? Just trust me, flip it over. And then if you want to use the bigger die, you can. But this size works really good. It's still a little peekaboo window. And then just center that in the center of your designer paper. Okay? And then with you folding over the flap, just one of the flaps with the tear and tape, it should be enough to run it through your large stamp and cut and emboss machine. It's going to be tight, but it will fit. Okay? And then run that through. And then by the magic of YouTube, I do have one already done. So I don't have to do that with you. All right. So here is my window. I do need to put the tear and tape on still. So let me go ahead and do that again. Put it on this side over here. Okay. Now we're going to put our window sheet in the window. And again, I'm going to use the liquid glue for that. So flip it over to the back side or the inside of your box. And you're just going to add a little liquid glue around the window. And you're just going to attach your window sheet to the glue. Remember, this is two and a quarter by three and a half. And then just kind of mush it into the glue. Don't put a lot of glue so it doesn't ooze out. You know what I mean? My, my window is actually kind of crooked, but I think it's going to be fine. It looks better like that than it does like this for some reason. I don't know. All right, now we're going to go ahead and put our box together. Let me get my, take your pick. So we're going to put our, peel off our backing of our tear and tape. And then you're just going to fold this over to the side. Whoop, fold it down all the way over and seal that up. And then this is going to make your candy box, right? You could just keep it like this even if you wanted. You know what I mean? So then you're going to close up one of your ends. And then I'm just going to grab, see how that fits much better when it's closed, when you angle cut. You'll see when you make it, all right? So let me grab one of these candy bars over here. I'll just grab this one from here so I don't have to get up. Okay, so then you're going to put your candy bar. Make sure, you, whatever way you're going to put it in there, make sure it's facing the right way. The Hershey candy bar looks cute too. So that's what that looks like. Okay, now we're going to make the flat part of the gift card holder. Remember, this is your three by six and a half scored at a half inch. And again, we're going to put tear and tape over here on this half inch score line on the inside. Okay, we're gonna put this, remove the backing, and then we're gonna fold this over and we're just gonna set this right onto the box. You might wanna pull this up first. Just set it right on the box, lining up the edges, right, like that. And then just fold over that tear and tape edge. <laughs> How easy is that, right? And then that's your flap. Seriously. So cute. All right, and then we're going to put our designer paper on the front. And then also on the inside. And of course, you can do this before you even put your box together. If you want to put all your paper on and the gift card holder. Okay, so there's the front, and then we're going to do the exact same size for the inside. You could actually cut this down because you are making this into a gift card holder, or you could actually put a piece of basic white on the inside and have a place to sign. But remember, you also have a back side for signing too, if you want to give this to like, say, your mailman or somebody. Okay, so there's the holder. That's it. Really, that's it. And then you got your signing part back here. So if you want to just give it to them like that, now we're going to add the pocket. Let me get my one inch circle punch. I have a one inch circle punch. You can use whatever size you want. This is your, well, I wanted to show you something here. I got a piece 
at one and a quarter by six and a half. And then a piece, oh wait, that is not the right size. That is short. That's probably for another card. All right, so I'm going to use this one. The printable says one by six and a half. I cut mine at one and a quarter by six and a half. Yeah. Okay. So whatever size you want to do, one or one and a quarter, we're just going to punch a little finger hole here for the gift card in the center of that. And then we're going to put this right at the bottom. So now when we put the glue on for the gift card holder, we're only going to put the glue on the edge and a little bit on the bottom, not all the way across, so the gift card doesn't stick out too much. So we're just going to put it here and then a little bit on the bottom edge and the corner. So it looks like a L backwards and forwards, right? Okay, so it looks like that. And then you're going to put this on the inside, line that up with the bottom. In the edges of your chocolate candy bar holder. Isn't it cute? I love it so much. All right, let me get a gift card here. I don't think I brought the next one over. Oh, yeah, I did. I got my Starbucks one here. Hold on. If I can grab it. Ah, okay, here's a Starbucks one. So you can put your gift card in there, right? Isn't it cute? What a cute little gift. I absolutely love it. So adorable. Then you can also put a belly band around it, but I found that you, I really didn't need a belly band because I'm putting all these little characters on here. So I'm putting the elf and Mrs. Claus and Santa. Let me show you here what I did. Oh, I already put the have a Merry Christmas. All right, so this is what else I did ahead of time. So on the have a Merry Christmas, because of course I put Santa first, and this is the Merry and Bright stamp set. Remember, that's the stamp set that I loved about the black words. So I stamped it in real red, and then I hand cut out have a, and then Merry, Merry is with Mrs. Claus, and then Christmas is with the elf. And then what else I did is I put a mini dimensional over top of the tag punch out here. You can see that, right? So it covers that up on the box. So that's why I mainly put them on their hat, so it covers them up. And then we're going to put it on with the mini dimensional or a regular dimensional. Oh, this is what else I did. I put the Mrs. Claus on first because she's going to go in the center. Put it right in the center. Don't press it down until you get them all lined up really good. So then Santa is on first with the have... Uh, have on Mary and then the elf <laughs> isn't this just the cutest thing the elf is going to go down here so it's have a Merry Christmas <laughs> it's so cute seriously I'm having so much fun with these cute little punch art alright and I think that's centered pretty good so then push them on there but that's how I put the have a Merry Christmas on their hats. And why I put them on their hats. So it would cover up the, the hole on their hat. So cute. So that is number one. And then here's the other one. Let me show you the other one that I did. Let me just close up the box since I took out my candy bar. Okay, so here's the other one. Same thing without the candy bar though. Okay. So, that's number one. Any questions on that? Oh, yeah, you can use a dot, but now keep in mind, too, you might have to put one here and one here because you don't want it to interfere with the gift card. You know what I mean? So, the Velcro dot can go here or here because to put it right in the center, it's going to be the gift card's going to be there. You know what I mean? So, but I find that it's great just like that. It's good. But if you do want to use a Velcro or a magnet, just make sure you're... And that's if you use a, a gift card. If you don't use a gift card, then you can definitely do a Velcro right in the center. Okay? Yay! I love it. Don't mind my coffee cup today because when we were talking live, I said that somebody had said they got their hot tea ready. And I said, ooh, that sounds good. I need to go make a coffee. But down here, 
Remember Richard bought us a new Nespresso machine just for my office down here? So I got my um, disposable cup. So that's what I'm using today. Yes, a Velcro dot will work great, Renee, or Rena. Yeah, hi, Rena. Yes, it's so cute. And that's why when I was showing Richard, because wait till you see my other ones that I use for the hot air balloon. Those are so beautiful, too. But the Christmassy ones, Richard's like, you know, he's always thinking of his guys because Richard's a foreman at the job. So it's like, you know, just give him a little something for Christmas where... I feel like Richard has, like, replaced Jessie when she was in school. I used to make her gifts for her class. Now it's Richard with his co-workers. <laughs> okay. All right. Hi, Gior Georgiana. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Norelda. All right. So now we're going to move on to the second project, which is also another chocolate candy bar holder. And this one is holding the two Ghirardelli chocolates. I don't have, I might have to run over to my other room and get, because I got a big old bag of chocolate candy bars to start making these for Richard. So I'll get two other candy bars after we get done and I'll show you that they do fit, all right? So we're going to make this one right now. This is, this is another easy, cute little gift. Let me get all my papers here. Hold on. All right. So let me get you the measurements of our, where is my printable? Hold on. I need all my measurements so I can tell you guys. Where is it at? This is, oh wait, it's with this one here. Also, the printable will be on my blog too. I did not take any pictures for my blog post today. Well, I didn't take any pictures today. For my blog post tomorrow with the hot air balloon samples. But I will post them on Friday, alright? So you guys can go check them out. But I'm going to show you guys what those look like here right now. Let me show you those. Those are so cute. Alright, so here is the double chocolate one. This is the brand new hot air balloon that is in this mini catalog. I can't open it up, but for those of you that have got it already, it's in this mini catalog. And this suite is... Beautiful. I love, love, love this designer paper. It's all like springy, pastel -y colors, but isn't it beautiful? So I use the Fresh Freesia, and again, I use my Velcro dot. Oh, I got two full-size candy bars here. I'll just use them for my one that I'm going to make with you guys. So you can see here I got a Hershey with almonds, and then the Hershey Mr. Good Bar. So they all fit in here, this size, the regular size. But isn't it cute with the hot air balloon? <laughs> and then this is the one that we just made with the um, the gift card. So look at this gift card. Isn't it perfect for this present for a birthday? It's a little Starbucks, but it's got the pastel -y colors. And then this greeting, it says, you make every day a little brighter. I thought that was so cute with the hot air balloons. Isn't it beautiful? And let me show you the... The designer paper and the stamp sets. I can show you that. So this is the stamp set. Hot air balloon. And then that greeting for, is from Everyday Details. And it says you make every day a little brighter. So pretty. These are both. These both have dies. Which I put my dies in here. I have not had time to put them on my magnet sheet. But this is the die collection. They are awesome with this stamp set. And that was the Everyday Details. And then this one is the Hot Air Balloon. I did put this on a magnet sheet because I did use it already. So this is the die. And it's a photopolymer stamp set. So it's really, really awesome. So these are brand new items that are going to be in the new mini catalog January 4th. And then, But it's this designer paper that is so beautiful. Look at this. This is the one that I used on my sampling on both of the boxes here. So you're getting 48 sheets of double-sided designer paper. And there's eight sheets, six designs each, I believe. One, let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, six. 
six designs. So there's eight sheets each of six designs. So you'll get eight sheets of these. And these are double-sided. Aren't the colors so springy feeling? Oh, I absolutely love this suite of product. And of course, the beautiful polka dots, clouds. There's clouds in this die collection too. And then we got the this paper. Oh, no, that's the same one. Sorry. This one with the lemon lolly. And then the fresh freesia. So these. And then this is the one. Did I use this on this one here? No, I didn't. I used it on this one here. I used the fresh freesia, this one, on the back of the gift card holder part right here. And then I did layer. If you guys want to make this with, like, a layer of basic white designer paper and that. Just remember, when you, if you do a peekaboo window, you'll have to run that through multiple times through your die cut machine because you're cutting through two pieces of cardstock and the designer paper. So then this is that other side of that one, which is like a starburst kind of. Can you see it? Oh, I love this paper so much. All right, and then, yep, so then this one, and then we got this design here, which is that side. And then the last one is this one here. So pretty. I will be offering a paper share for the new mini catalog, so stay tuned for that. I'll be doing early sign-ups for that, and I'll explain everything with that, but we can't even start collecting the money for that until like a week out so we still have some time i'm thinking probably around christmas sometime i'll start working on this and i'll let you know so but i will be offering it also there's only eight packs of paper in this new mini catalog but let me tell you celebration makes up for it because usually there's i think usually there's like 10 packs of designer paper with the new mini catalog release which is this is what i'm talking about I think there's only eight in this catalog. So the paper share will be a little bit cheaper, which is good. And then the mini catalog, the celebration mini catalog brochure, that mini catalog is jam packed with designer paper. So you can earn these papers for free with every $50 that you purchase during celebration starting on January 4th through the end of February. Okay, so but my paper share will include the new paper from the mini catalog. I'm still debating on what papers and if I'm going to give you samplings of the celebration papers. I'll let you guys know. Okay. So, but those are the two samplings that I did with the hot air balloons. Isn't it beautiful? And then it's a cute little up, up and away. Hooray. It's your birthday. That is all in the stamp set and the die. So cute. I don't know which one I had more fun making. Seriously. They're both so awesome. All right, so we'll use both of these candy bars for my one that we're going to make right now, all right? So we're going to use the, actually, this is my paper that I haven't scored yet, so I'm going to score this because I need extras of these too. All right, so the real red cardstock is cut at 7 eighths by 8 and a quarter. Thank you, guys. All right, so 7 and 1 eighth by 8 and a quarter. We're going to score and cut that. And then two pieces of the basic red cut at 5. Sorry, cut it two by five and a quarter. And then you're going to need uh, one, two, three, four pieces of the designer paper. This is, again, Mary Bold and Bright, which is sold out, I believe. This is the double-sided paper. This piece is cut at, what did I cut this at? This is cut at seven eighths by five and a quarter. All the designer paper is five and a quarter inches long. So this one's seven eighths by five and a quarter. These two are one and a quarter by five and a quarter. And then this piece is two and one eighth by five and a quarter. Okay, so it's pretty easy. And you'll see exactly right where all those go. All right, so let's get our paper trimmer again. I just got to figure out what side of the, the design, oh, the cardstock we're using. Okay, so this is seven and an eighth. Yep, seven and an eighth by eight and a quarter. Okay, let's start with this eight and a quarter inch side across the top. Remember, we're going to score and not cut. And I did bring an extra one over that's already done just in case I messed up because I was really messing up today. Sorry. 
Okay, so on the eight and a quarter inch side, we're going to score this at one inch. One and three eighths. Remember, the one and three eighths is past the eighth mark, past the one and a quarter. One and three eighths. Six and seven eighths. That's the eighth mark right before the seven. Six and seven eighths, and then seven and a quarter. Okay, then we're going to turn it on the eight, no, sorry, seven and an eighth inch side. We're going to score this at two and a quarter. Two and five eighths. That's the eighth mark past the two and a half. Two and five eighths. Three. Five and a quarter. And six. Okay. And then do I score these two by five? I think so, yeah. So I'm going to score both of these pieces. These are two by five and a quarter. You're going to score both of them the exact same way. You're going to score them on the two, two inch side across the top. You're going to score it at a quarter, right? Yeah, quarter inch and five eighths. And that's the mark, the eighth mark past the half. Okay, so along the two inch side, you're gonna score it at a quarter and five eighths. Okay, so you're gonna, that's gonna look like that. And we're gonna do both of them the exact same way. So along the two inch side across the top, score it at a quarter and five eighths. Okay, and that's all the scoring for this one. I know, it seems like how in the world are you going to make a double candy bar holder, right? How does that work out like that? <laughs> it really does blow my mind, too. All right, let's go and grab my bone folder. We're going to score all our edges, especially so you guys can see what I'm doing here. So fold all the edges where we scored. Plus, this will help the box go together a lot easier. So this is what our double holder looks like. And let me fold these two strips here. Make sure those are good. That quarter inch, we're going to be using liquid glue on that. So it looks like a nothing thing, but it really makes the whole holder come together. It's awesome. When you guys make this double chocolate bar holder, it is like... It's like a really nice gift because the way it folds up and the way it closes up, I mean, this would so be perfect for stocking stuffers. Really, really, really awesome. Okay. All right. Now we got our pieces. All right. Let me, um, let me think here now. What am I doing? I just got to look at my sample here. All right. So now on this edge right here, where we have those three score lines at the bottom. There's none at the top here, right? So it's a shorter edge. And we got the three score lines right here in the center. This is what you're going to have facing you when you're cutting, okay? So we're going to remove these two tabs here. And then we're going to cut up here. And we're going to remove this whole section up here. These two squares or box or whatever, all right? So we're going to remove these two or these three score lines right here up to that first score line. Okay, so you're going to remove that like that. Okay? Then you're going to go over here and do this same on the same on the other side the same thing up to that first score line. Cut that off. Okay? And then you're going to remove these two tabs up here at the very top, right? Yeah. Did I do that right? 
Did I do that right? Yeah, I did that right. <laughs> okay, we're going to cut these, these two tabs right here. This one and that one up to that score line. Remove that. And then over on this side to that first score line, right? Oh, no, we removed that whole score line. We remove everything to the score line. Sorry. Everything from the whole section right there. From those three lines over to the center score line like that. Okay, so we're removing those little ones too. I thought it was up to the first one. Sorry. So remove that. I'll go through this part again with you guys. Okay. So then we're removing this whole section here. That actually makes it a little bit easier to remember. Okay, so remove all those sections right there. Okay, so now this is what your double treat box should look like. All right? All right, now you can um, use your corner rounder, which I have over here. Remember, this is going to be the top of your flap of your double candy bar holder, all right? So we're going to corner round these two points here. This is a re retired punch. I wish we would get a corner rounder again. So corner round that point and this point. This just finishes off the treat holder. So you have your corner round. Oh, wait, I got to do that one again. And then you're going to also corner round the... Um, seven eighths inch piece seven eighths by five and a quarter so we're just going to do two of the points on one side so let me go ahead and do that put that in there put this one in here oh, wait i gotta put it in this way i just don't want it to cut other side here let me do it this way no it's this way <laughs> with it being such a little piece i don't want to cut double pieces here nope see i did it opposite i should have flipped it over so now i'm going to corner around all the whole piece here you know what let me do another one i think i got another piece here all right so i'm going to corner around <laughs> sorry corner around the seven eighths by five and a quarter piece we're going to corner around this edge over here and I'm going to flip it over and put that one in on the other side so I only get the two sides right here so then it matches the front of my box right here so they're both they're all corner round right there on the edge okay all right so now that we can put that away All right, now we're going to go ahead and take our scissors. Again, we're going to cut at an angle. Remember, this is the top of our box. These are the panels that are going to go into to hold the candy bars, okay? So on these tabs, what we're going to do is on the very first score line right here, you're going to cut at an angle from that tip of that score line down to that corner, so it should look like this. You're going to start at the point and you're just going to cut up to, and I'm just free cutting, just up to that first score line. So you're going to angle cut it because we don't need all this cardstock to show when we're making our pockets. So you're going to do both sections on both sides up to that first score line like that. Okay. Do this side the exact same way. Start out the outside point. And then cut up to that first score line. Outside point up to that score line. Okay. So now this is our finished double candy bar holder. Okay. Now this is where your panels come in. Your two by five and a quarter. You're going to take your quarter inch score line at the very bottom. And you're going to put some liquid glue on that. Just a little bit. Remember, the more glue you use, the longer it's going to take to set up. So just use a little bit. Okay. And then you're going to set that, that quarter inch score line right up to that bottom 
line of the pocket the very first one it should be a flat cut line a straight cut line let me move that over just a little bit it should be centered because your flaps are going to hold fold it over and hold the pocket together so then this is the second score line so then that's going to make your little pocket right here see how that looks from the side so it's the quarter inches right up flush with that edge for that one. Okay. Then you're going to do the exact same thing with the one above it. A little bit of glue. This time we're going to put that quarter inch right onto, let me see here. Let me see my sample. Where did I put that? I want to say it's the, yeah, it's the top score line. So like we did the bottom edge here, got my little battery popping up. All right, so we're gonna take it, we're gonna put it on, you can see here where the three score lines, you have one, two, three. You're gonna put that right on that third score line, the top. This is gonna make your pocket for that second candy bar holder. Okay, put it right on that score line, right in the center, just like that. Okay, now this is a this is a choice that you guys can decide on how you want to put your sides together. My choice is to put the flap over top of your panel like that. So your flap is going to be glued onto your two by five and a quarter inch right here. Can you see that's right over top of that? Because we're going to put that designer paper, that one and a quarter by five and a quarter inch over that. So you won't even see this cardstock there. Now the other way you can do it, you can put it on the inside and have the, the cover cover that up. But I like it on the outside better. So you can decide what you want to do. And then remember, you're only going to put your liquid glue at the bottom section of this flap over here. Like that much on the edge because that's what's going to flip over here to this panel here now with us using liquid glue you're going to have to hold that together for just a few minutes and you can also put a candy bar in there so it will give some stability when you're pressing that into place push that over like that and just hold it there <coughs> i know i don't understand that Okay, why do you think they retire items that seem fundamental? I don't know, Rena. I don't understand that either. I thought I had it down like to a science on how they retire stuff, but I think they've changed over the years. And I'm going to put glue on this side over here. Now remember your candy bar, You the candy bar looks like it's going to be a little bit big, but it's just paper here. So what I do is I just turn it over so the paper will not be interfered with my gluing of my flaps. See, there's no paper hanging over here. So then I can fold my flap over and then glue that down just like that. Okay, and then just hold that there. With the candy bar being in the pocket, it gives you something to press that onto so it holds it in place. And it doesn't take very long, but you do got to hold it. And then see your designer paper. This is one and a quarter by five and a quarter. This is going to go right over top of that section there. So let's go ahead and put that on. So this is going to cover up your ends where you put the flaps over. Okay. And then we're going to do the other one. Let's get our candy bar. Put that one inside here. We're going to put our glue on the tabs, just the bottom section. And then put the candy bar down into the pocket so you have something to hold on to. Let's put glue on this side here. Fold that one over. Okay. Isn't it cute? I love it. Okay, and we're going to take our other piece, our one and a quarter by five and a quarter. Glue this on this section here. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to flip my candy bars over now so they're facing the right way. Isn't it adorable? I love it. This is the one with almonds. So good. All right, so then there's your double candy bar holder. And then it folds up, and then you have your flap there. We're going to put a Velcro piece on that. So let's put our designer paper on. This is your piece that's cut at two, two and an eighth by five and a quarter. Two and an eighth by five and a quarter. You could maybe even cut it at five and three eighths, maybe just a little bit longer. And then your top piece with the flap going to go on your flap. Remember, you're going to put your corner rounder on the, around the same side. This is the 7 eighths by 5 and a quarter. So there's your holder. Isn't it cute? And then your double chocolate candy bar holder. It seriously weighs. It's a good substantial gift when you give it to somebody. It's like heavy because it's two candy bars in there, you know? All right, and then for my Velcro, let me show you my Velcro that I use. You can get these on my Amazon affiliate link. I believe these are over there. These are the, let me see, these are the 3 8 size. You can see my number right there. 3 8 inch Velcro rounds. Oh, I better put my charger on here. Hold on. I got to um, unplug my, hold on, I got to unplug my mic. Hold on, one minute, please. I gotta unplug my camera or my phone. I gotta plug my external battery in there. I'm telling you, I really got the setup, right? All right, now, yes, it's charging. Whew. All right, so these are the little dots. So I'm gonna take one of my fuzzy backs and one of my grabby pieces here. I'm gonna cut my Velcro down. Just use one. Okay, I'm going to put it together, put them together, and then I'm going to cut them apart here. Okay. I'm going to put my fuzzy piece on the top. Hold on, i got to peel it apart now. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to stick them both together. So when I put them on my holder... Maybe that's the sticky part that goes at the top. I don't know. I'm going to peel that off, and then we're just going to fold it over nice and snug, and then press that down. Make sure you're pressing that down with the candy bars in your thing so you can see the Velcro almost like invisible, kind of. And then it holds it shut, okay? So those are the Velcro pieces that I used for mine. And then, depending on what you want to put on, like Richards want me to make like 10 of them, so I'll probably be using a little of all of them and using different colors. I'll try to take a picture of all of them once I make them, because with the e.l.f. one, I think I'm going to use with the green paper from the same designer paper pack, you know, the Mary, and, Mary Bold and Bright. There's a couple pieces with the, the green and the blueberry bushel. That one doesn't look very good because it's not green on there. But I'm just, you can use the gingerbread, man. I'm going to use a stocking because I got that one done too. So I'm going to make it just like I did the other one. And then I would cut the Have a Merry Christmas like I did with the other box. Let me get dimensionals. Where's my dimensionals at? I brought new ones over here. Hold on. Yeah. So we're going to put our dimensionals only at the top of our stocking because remember this is a flap so I'm going to stick the top of the stocking to the top flap of my candy box holder or candy holder. I'm going to put three dimensionals really close together and then I'm just going to position that right in the center there. Now, I didn't stamp the Have a Merry Christmas, but this is my finished one. So, it's the exact same thing that I did for my other one. Have a Merry Christmas, and I stamped it in the real red. And then those are really super easy to cut out, and then I just put it over to the side. Okay, so there's the finished one. Isn't it cute? And then this one has the two Ghirardelli chocolates, which you can also get at Dollar Tree. 
we have a Dollar Tree that just opened up like two minutes from our house by the post office. So, and by my gym too. So, but that is that little double chocolate candy bar holder. Isn't it cute? So the guys will get a mixture. Do you guys want me to show you all my candy bars? Probably not, but you guys get the drift. I got Hershey's, Hershey with almonds. I got cookies and cream. I got Mr. Good Bar. I got the Ghirardelli. Because see, Richard said, just give them like a little of both so you can give it like for him and her. Or he can give it to, a, you know, his wife or whatever. So, and then here's the other one that we made. I just forgot to bring all the candy bars. Aren't they cute? I love them. So, so great for stocking stuffers. Especially this one, like with the, um, the gift card there and the candy bar. Just so cute. They both look great. Kate, thank you, Kathy. So stinking adorable. Thank you. I didn't know they made clear Velcro dots. Well, I don't think they're actually clear, but they look clear on mine, don't they? I mean, you can still see that they're there. Right? Let me see if they say clear. Oh, yeah, they are clear. I did not seriously know that. Clear, thin, clear fasteners. Yeah. And 56 of them, and they come like this. Okay. So, yeah, I guess so. I guess that's why I couldn't hardly see them. I'm like, man, those are like really clear. You don't even see it there. And they're like tiny, you know? Very cute. All right. Oh, thank you, Rena. Holly said she loves these. Diana says adorable, adorable, adorable. Thank you. Um... Let me see here. Hi, Arliss. Oh, yeah, Arliss got the mini. Uh, Peggy got the mini. I seen a few other people message me and they got the mini too. So, oh, it's so exciting. I love it. All right, let's do another glitter giveaway and then I will let you guys go. I, don't, I only have, well, not, it's still saying 5%. Also, did you guys see my new card sketch? Every Monday I post a new card sketch. This was this week's card sketch. Isn't it cute? So this was card sketch number 308. Can you believe we're on 308? I think it's going on like, how many years is that? Like six years or something we've been doing the card sketch. I love it. And it's using that garden walk designer paper with the modern garden stamp set and that punch is carrying over but the stamp set is retiring but it's a beautiful stamp set and designer paper all right so let's give you guys another glitter giveaway we got these here the tinsel gems let's see if my spinner's working yet if it had a little break no now that i pushed them all like an elevator they'll all go off <laughs> all right let me get my i you know what i'll yeah, let me get my ipad over here hold on I'm just so weary of doing this nowadays since I like hit it and it goes off. But now that the video's over, we're good, right? All right, let's go ahead. Aw, thank you. Thank you, Lynn. I'm going to make one today. Yay! You will love it, Colleen. All right, let's go ahead and... Well, I was going to say spin, but we're going to go ahead and spin the comments. This is the glitter spinner. So for all of you that have left comments, this is how you get in the drawing. And then don't forget, you're going to go to my website tomorrow and you can be, oh, Linda, I guess I accidentally hit Linda, Linda Brady, Brady, Bra Brady, right? Linda, <laughs> it's so weird without my spinner, B-R-A-D-Y. Do I have your address, Linda? Let me get my address here. Linda, have you won anything from me before? Also, somebody won last week, and I'm still waiting. I got, um, uh, is it Laura? I got Laura's address. I sent hers out. I'm still waiting for the person that won last week, too. So if you you got to email me your address, or I'm going to pay it forward in a couple weeks. But Linda, this is my email address. If you've never won, or just email me anyway, your address. This is your physical street address. Email me here at dawnattheglitterpit.com. 
and give me your address and I will mail you out these tinsel gems, all right? Yay. So I will get these sent out to you, but I wanna make sure I have your address. Let me write on here, tinsel gems. All right. All right, so Linda, I think it's Brady, right? Yeah, B-R-A-D-Y, Linda Brady. And then I got Dawn, you got yours coming. I got your address already. And this is one thing good too. So once you win something or you're a customer or you're one of my glitter queens, I will already have your address so I can just go ahead and drop it in the mail. That's what makes it really super easy when you already win something. All right, so I will have these posted on my blog tomorrow, both of these. And then you can see the other ones right here. I'll post these on my blog tomorrow. I still got to take pictures of these. These ones don't have the candy bars because I took them out. But this is using the hot air balloon bundle. So cute with the fresh freesia. Love it. All right, so those will be posted on Friday, all right? Any other questions before we sign off? Where's my, where's my stylist here? Um, let me go through here. Let's see here. Oh yeah, don't forget, free shipping on $75 or more starts tomorrow. Also, double FSM is starting tomorrow too. For one day only, you get a double FSM tokens for every $50 you spend. This is before shipping and tax, all right? Aw, uh, thank you. Thank you, Ramona. All right, guys. I plan on being here next week. That will be right before Christmas. I don't quite know what we're going to be doing. We'll figure something out, right? All right, so I will see you guys next week. Same glitter time, same glitter station. We'll be right here in the glitter pit at 3 p.m. on Wednesday, all right? We'll make something cute and festive. All right, guys, I love you. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today, and I'll see you next week. Bye.